Tapos na, we're just picking up my friend at the Mario Hotel and we're going to Paradise Country. Today, I'm finally meeting my friend Eileen. She came all the way from Singapore. She is my mentor and my director from the company I previously worked. And I'm very excited to see her again and she'll finally meet my kids. There's no many people here today. This one is really close today. <laughs> she really wants to go to the zoo to see koala and kangaroo. We haven't been to Paradise Country. My expectation for this zoo was pretty high because they have amazing zoo in Singapore with lots of animals to see. But I don't remember if they have koalas and kangaroos there. I'm really hoping that she liked this place as well. The koalas are so adorable and so cute, but most of them are sleeping. But we did manage to see them awake on their feeding time. There are big kangaroos here. If you want to have a close encounter to kangaroos, you can walk inside their cage and you'll able to feed them and take photos with them. But still, you need to be gentle and be careful around them. They have all the local Australian animals in here and you can also see the farm animals. Frankly, it didn't meet my expectation because the cost of the entrance. Single day pass is $39. I feel like we could have seen a better zoo with that amount. But if you have a local multi-pass for a year, I think this would be really fun for the kids to, to see the koalas and the kangaroos and the rest of the animals here. It has a country vibe. That's why maybe it's called Paradise Country. So if you compare it with other zoo, that's the unique vibe for this zoo. They also have a show about the farm animals here. Adults from 6 to 8 weeks of age and monthly trained, they can move up to 2,000 sheep on their own. Okay. I was going to move them down over the bridge. Keep them happy, and Josh will also try her back leg so she can't kick over the milk bucket. Quite a bit more pressure apparently. Wow! Alright! Oh my god, he, he's scared. They also have a little tour where you get to ride on a small train. It will just go around the loop. The property looks really big. But the actual zoo that you're gonna go around is not much. They also have horseback riding for the kids but we have other plans so we didn't wait for it. And since we have other plans in the afternoon, we just have our lunch here. We had burger and seafood platter which is also good. And that's about it. So thank you for watching this vlog and check out our next trip at Crystal Castle.